Hey guys, welcome back to Curls and Crafts. Today I have a video for last minute Easter decoration ideas made from all things from Dollar Tree. So they're really cute, very cheap, and very easy to do. In case you've waited till the last minute like me to make Easter decorations, this video is for you. Let's hop in. So for this first project, you'll need some of those little wooden boxes that you can get from the Dollar Tree, as well as wooden dowels, the moss bunnies, some craft eggs, you can have plain ones or pre-painted ones, some of the floral foam, and some sort of flower with greenery or moss, and also some paint colors. So first off, I'm going to be using my Waverly paint to paint these boxes and kind of stain it. You don't want to put too thick of a coat on because you do want to be able to see that wood grain. But if you do happen to put too much paint on there, you will see me go back and kind of use a paper towel to wipe off that excess paint just so we can see that wood grain. It makes it look a little more farmhousey and rustic, which is the look that I'm going for. Next, you'll need to take your floral foam and go ahead and break it apart. I bought the pre-cut ones, so it was a little bit easier for me, but to get it to fit perfectly inside those little boxes, I did have to use some scissors. I would recommend that you use something a little better than scissors, as the scissors made quite a mess. And once you've cut them to size, just stick them down in the little boxes. No need to hot glue them or anything. Once you have your foam in place, go ahead and grab your little moss bunnies. They do have a pre-existing hole on the bottom of them where I'll be sticking the wooden dowel so I can place them in the foam. I do recommend breaking the wooden dowels in half prior to sticking them in the bunnies just because the pre-existing size is a little too long. And do leave some room between the bunnies and the foam just so you have room to put your moss or your greenery or whatever you're going to fill in the bottom with. Next you'll want to get your eggs and go ahead and paint those if you choose to add that to yours. And I'm just going to use these Eastery colors, the, this pastel blue and this pastel yellow. And I do recommend using some toothpicks to hold your eggs, which you'll see me do later on. I just didn't think about that <laughs> while I was doing this first egg and you can see how messy it was. Okay, so next you're going to go ahead and add your greenery to the bottom to fill it in. I would probably recommend filling it in with moss. I think it would be easier and look a bit better, but unfortunately, believe it or not, my Dollar Tree did not have any moss when I was there. So I chose to buy these flowers that had some greenery on them and we're going to make that work. I just broke the greenery pieces off of the flower and I'm just going to hot glue that down to the foam. And 
And don't worry about those pieces that are hanging off on the back. We are going to fix those in a second with some wire cutters. Now we're going to use those eggs that we painted and we're going to place them on front of two of the little boxes and hot glue that in place. And then for the middle bunny, I'm just going to place a string around it. I tried to make a bow, it just didn't look good, so I just went with a straight, you know, piece of string. And here's the finished project. I think it looks really good and fits in really well on my mantle. So this next project isn't quite as intricate. You'll just need the little foam outline of the bunny's head that you get from the Dollar Tree and some roses or any flowers of your choice. And we're simply just going to hot glue those around the bunny and I'm going to use some pink ones at the top to make them look sort of like ears. Last but not least, you'll just need one of those wooden bamboo wreaths that you can find as well as the little carrots. Um, I have the garland, but they did have packs of carrots at the Dollar Tree, but they didn't have it when I was there. You'll also need the sign that has the galvanized bunny on it and some ribbon. So first I'm just going to cut my little carrots and get the strings off of them. Then I just popped the galvanized bunny off and it was a lot easier than I expected. Go ahead and hot glue the bunny down. And then move on to gluing your carrots down in whatever pattern you would like. And next you just need to make your bow and I apologize I thought my camera was rolling it was not so I did not get to show you guys how I made my bow but this is the finished project and I'm just gonna cut the little ends so they are diagonal and then we're gonna hot glue it on
And here's the finished project. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've gained some ideas for some last minute Easter decorations. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it and leave a comment down below. See you guys next time.